Hello friends, my name is Sunny Verma. So as you know, in the last videos I have defined by about functions. So now I will tell you how you can use multiple function in single program. So now make a new function here. So you can know from the beginning part. So for more information you can visit my website. And those signs and noting. And if you have an issue, you can also add me on Skype. If you like this video, then please subscribe for upcoming videos as well. So it will help to others as well who want to learn programming in C. Z. So now I'm going to start a simple program for multiple declaration of multiple functions inside the program I will define two variables two functions here integer sum and integer now I will define another factorial I will define only single argument here and then main So you can see I have declared two very two functions for sum and factorial as well. Now so you can declare simple variables b is equal to 10 and b is equal to 20 here and you can call to the sum function and pass you can pass two arguments a and b and in the function definition you will define this function and receive those parameters and you will define another variable z which you it will add two values x and y and then it will print sum is and you will print z here Now, after that, if you want to call the factorial function, you can define factorial and you can define directly any number here, or you can enter input through scanf and um, like initialize any variable. Now, I will define this function factorial and then here. I will use any like I will use x here. Now, as you, as we all know, with logical logical factorial function I have already defined many times in, uh, in my previous videos as well, like one two hundred factorial and simple factorial program. So now I will declare it. You can just convert uh, this program to other. You can also use other uh, program as well. In like, you want to use any Armstrong functions, Armstrong program, or any prime number. You can easily use this method. As well. I will I was thinking to I will add more functions over here void armstrong
so you can as well call to these functions arm strong like it will pass 153 here and for prime number if you want to check 7 number so you can use this and same it here You can also add the logic of Armstrong and Prime number as well. So, okay, so I'm right now I'm only going to add the two main functions: the factorial and simple sum. So I'm going to skip implement these lines. So let's run this program. Yeah, I think I have to put get CH here. Okay, now you can see the sum is 30 and the factorial is 120. If I will add here 6, then uh, it will display the output according, accordingly. Uh, it's some crashing here. Okay, my friends, so I think this is very much clear to you. If you have any issues, you can contact me anytime. Thank you so much.